All right, you guys, what is up and welcome back. So today I'm out on the beach on Bolivar. It is a super nice day, low winds, nice clean water, and it is uh, the middle of November right now. So I'm gonna make a really quick video showing y'all all that you need to go out in the surf and have some fun whenever the weather starts to cool down because a lot of people disregard winter surf fishing, but there's a ton to catch. There's black drum, redfish, and what most people catch, whiting, which are super good table fare. So I'm just gonna show you what you need real quick. I'm gonna cast out line and we're gonna see if we can hook a few. Stay tuned. All right, so check this out. All we're doing is a single drop rig right here. Now, if you have a pyramid weight, I'd recommend using one of those. A one to two ounce pyramid weight is all you need, especially when the water is nice and calm like this. Uh, but yeah, one to two ounce pyramid weight, a little bitty circle hook, and a small piece of shrimp, actually smaller than this. Catch a whiting, you just need a little chunk. Get your hook right through there, and you just send it out. Now, a lot of people are gonna tell you that you need 10 to 12 foot surf rods. That's not true. I just use my normal rod right here. It's like a six and a half, seven foot spinning reel, 20 pound braid, small little cheap Shimano reel. And all you gotta do is cast from shore. As long as you're able to cast and make it past the first thing of breakers, you're good. In the winter, those fish are not as far out. And they like to hang out right on the other side of the first sandbar. And if they're not biting there, yeah, you might want to walk out knee deep, cast a little bit farther, but you do not need a big old rod to do it. Just chunk it out there, give it a second, it doesn't take too long. I hope y'all can hear me with the waves, but usually if you're going to catch something, it's going to happen pretty quick. And these whiting put up a pretty darn good fight. I got one, haha. -ha. All about three minutes later and we're hooked up now guys the weather is exceptionally nice today no wind uh shoot probably blowing seven to eight if even it's been picking up throughout the day but still water's super green a little to no swell and it's about 75 degrees with no clouds in the sky so here we go right here a whiting this is a decent one to take them home i'd like them to be a little bit bigger but there is no limit on these no size or anything and they are strong, pound for pound, an extremely strong fighting fish. We're gonna get this guy on hook, toss him back. And the coolest thing about all this is that this whole thing was done from shore. Toss him back. Right, hook up another piece of shrimp, see if we can catch some more. All right, another little piece of shrimp. Also a good thing to use in the winter is fish bites. I like to use fish bites paired with my shrimp because whenever you're throwing baits as hard as you can, sometimes the shrimp will fall off and a lot of times in the winter they have soft bodies. But. So we're gonna whip this one out again. Walk back. And now we wait. Should not take long. Now whenever you get a bite from Whitey especially, a lot of times they'll knock your bait towards you and it'll just go completely slack. Or you'll get that initial couple, couple bumps. All right, we're on. This feels like a better one. Whitey really throw down, especially right when you hook them. This one feels pretty good. Hooked up! All right, best one yet. They've been getting bigger every time. There we go. Another whiting. Get them on hook, get them back. Now we could be running a few rods at once, but I didn't honestly bring any other rods today. So just have this one I didn't even bring a rod holder which is fine because the action is pretty quick hooked up again this one feels smaller than the last one yeah he's surfing in on the waves he's jumping <laughs> Oh, this is something different. This is not a whiting, this is a croaker. There we go. Something a little bit different. A little croaker. Got another one here. Something little. A 
Another little croaker. Not the whiting that we want, but still fish. Probably use the same piece of shrimp again. All right, we're gonna use this piece of shrimp. Then I think I have one more shrimp in the bucket. So we'll cut that guy up, use him, and then we're out of here. Just wanna make this cool, quick little video. Show you a really easy, fun, and pretty productive way to fish during the winter. Don't have to worry about waders or any of that. The most important thing I would say is just watch the surf forecast and see what the swell is and you want it whenever it's nice and calm. But even with that being said, I've been out here on days when it's not that nice and when the water is brown and it's still caught fish. It's usually far, farther and more in between. There's another one. Caught that one on the same piece of shrimp as the last one, as I was talking. <laughs> Another little guy. What is this? Another croaker. Oh, I hate these things. Same piece of shrimp again. Can we get three fish? Can we get three fish on the same piece of shrimp? I don't know. Let's find out. See, I'm going to catch this one as far as I can. Pretty dang good. That's a good one hooked up on the last shrimp I was using and this feels like a good one a decent one I should say doesn't feel giant oh yeah he's gonna be good hasn't came out of the water yet so that's promising swimming back and forth on the sandbar what is it big old whiting yep nice one no it's a catfish this is not good. I think on this note, we're going to head out. Whenever you start catching these guys, there's usually a bunch of them out there. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. This is a really fun thing to come do in the winter. All from shore. No waders, no problem. A little piece of shrimp, normal rod, a little hook, a little weight. You're all good to go. So thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video if you did enjoy it. And until next time, peace.